In this session, we're going to talk about unity in the family. Um, I think parenting is the only job that requires no qualifications. Anybody can become a parent, but actually you need to be fully trained in being a teacher, a counsellor, a financial advisor, a nurse, so many other professions you actually need to be a parent. Um, and we're talking about unity in the family. How do we, how do we create that? Um, the first question that I really think that we need to consider is why has God put us together in, in our family? I don't believe that we are put together randomly, but God has chosen us to be in a particular family. And when I look at my family, um, my husband Ian, my daughter Sophie, my son Morgan and myself, I know that our family has been put together for a purpose. We have a unique contribution to pay in this world. We're all, we all have incredibly different gifts. My daughter is incredibly into organisation and administration. That's something that I don't particularly enjoy. My son is a full-time musician and my husband is a visionary leader. Um, so we all come with different gifts, but we all have a purpose, a purpose to fulfill as a family. And when we have that as the guide, the guiding light almost, it makes us work together. It makes us encourage each other encourage each other in our gifts one another we will contact each other we will um, encourage each other by text because we believe in each other and we want to be we want to be unified as a family so we want to champion each other one of the things that we feel very passionately about is finding out what are your family values. Your values will guide your life. And I think it's so important as a couple, when you start having children, to start working out what is it, are our, what will be our family values? What are those things that we want to instill into our children? Now we, we sort of sat down and talked about it as a couple and we came up with a, a number of values, mission, generosity, building the local church, hospitality, faith, just to name but a few. They are our values and they're the values we want our children to adopt. And it's been amazing as they've grown up, as we've made these values a priority in our lives, now our children are adults, we see that they also have adopted these values. They're living out these values. It doesn't just come randomly. You have to work at it. You have to be intentional about living out those values. It's not about attending church and doing the religious things but it's on a daily basis, living out the values that you feel God has given you for your family. You know, there's no guarantee in life that your children will serve God. I am grateful that my children do. But if you're in a position today and your children are not following the Lord, two things that you can do is love them unconditionally and pray for them daily. I remember when Morgan was 12 or 13 and he was just struggling a bit with going to church. And I remember those times I would sit on his bed and I would just lay hands on his pillow and pray for him and pray and prophesy into his future. Prayer is powerful. And wherever you are at right now with your children, bring them before the Lord. He knows them, he loves them, and he's committed to them, much more even than we are. Finally, 
What legacy would you like to leave in your family? It's not about just your generation, but it's for the generations to come. We often read in the Bible um, the genealogy of Jesus and all the people that were in that line. Um, we hear of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. It was a family dynasty. And you know what, in the future, I want the Greens to have a dynasty. I want there to be legacy left into the generations to come. I want the values that we've instilled into our children for them to pass on to their grandchildren. The faith that's in us, we want to be passed on to our grandchildren. We don't have any grandchildren yet, hopefully one day, but everything that we've invested into our children, we want our children to invest into theirs. We want there to be unity, not just with us and our children, but unity into the generations to come. And so if you're here watching this today, I just pray over you that you will start working together as a family, that there will be family unity.